This video is going to be a little a demo on how to install the MB server, not just the client, but an MB server run on this little $40 uh, Android box that is actually running Libre ELEC. And this particular box here is running uh, Libre uh, version 8.0.0. And it's dated March the 8th, 2017, four days ago. But anyway, there's a summary, there's a storage. I'm using the storage as my NAS for my recording storage network, video, uh, 1080, 1280 by 1080, hardware. And this one is a SMLogic S905 uh, CPU, SOC, system on a chip. Uh, and my PVR service is a TV head in. Now, this uh, this client uh, TV head in server is running on this $40 box. So this is my DVR back end. And it stores all the recordings and stuff on my NAS. But anyway, um, TVs, channel guide. Uh, and this is the new version of uh, uh, Cody 17. But the uh, the video quality is outstanding using uh, Libre EIC, uh, which is a, a short version of Linux, uh, specifically for uh, uh, home media. So anyway, I will get out of that and I will show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Now what we need to do, we're going to go into the settings. First, we go to add-ons. Okay, now we're going to go over here to this one. Now we're going to install from repository. Now this particular one, it's a Libre ELC add-on. Let's see if it's program add-ons. Okay, there's Mono. Now what it will do, it will install Mono. Services. I'm looking for, there it is, MB Beta. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and install MB Beta. Now, while that's doing that, it's going to install the mono, which is required for the MB server. And you can see it's downloading right now. So anyway, this one's going to take a little while for it to install, so I will come back as soon as the Emmy gets installed and show you. Okay, as I was saying earlier, it will download Mono, and uh, apparently it is installed. So let's go back and see if, if Emmy is installed. Okay, Emmy is downloading 2%. So it had to download and install the Mono first because that's the... Uh, requirements to use the MB beta so it's at two percent so I will let it continue downloading so right now you can see it's at 4 39 p.m. when it gets done downloaded I'll turn it back on okay MB has finished installing the beta server go to configuration okay there's not much to configure there except use dedicated FMM probe experimental uh, not sure I'll use that one Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and click it. Click OK. All right, now I will go back to my computer and see if it shows up. But anyway, uh, this is the newest version of Libre running for my B-Link Mini MX3, the box I paid $39 for, actually $40, and with free shipping. But it's been probably a year since I've had it, so... Uh, but again, my uh, the TV guide and this, okay, this is running in the back end also. So it's running in the uh, in the back. You can't see it, but it's running as a server. But it's gathering all my uh, data for my uh, uh, PBR.
Okay. But again, the uh, image quality is just outstanting, and I do get Dolby Digital. Uh, the boards a couple of times. And this is this one, I have it connected through uh, an HDMI switch, and in turn goes into my Denon AVR, which in turn feeds my 4K Samsung TV. So, But anyway, it gets uh, Dolby Digital, and the video quality is just outstanding. So anyway, I will move on and uh, show you how to set it up using the computer. Thank you. Okay, now I'm back to my desktop. I use the advanced IP scanner. Now, what it does, it scans my network and finds all the devices. Uh, the Libre ELIC, that's the one that I just installed the MB server on. And that's my $40 Android box that I, uh, using a Libre ELIC running on a micro SD card. So the, if I want to go back to Android, I just uh, boot into Android and not boot into Libre. But the Libre is a uh, real short version of Linux, spe specifically for uh, a medium. All right, so this is the one. We're going to connect it. Uh, now we want to go to Many Server. Okay, now this is where we have to go in our setup. We have to uh, MB. I'll go in. And I'll get my key and I will paste it in there. Library, now this is where we set up our library, uh, subtitles, etc. Transcoding. Um, now, one thing that I, I want to show you is live TV. Select a tuner, HD home run. Now, this one I'm going to type in 192.16. Point one zero point one zero six. Now that is the address of my older HDR3 tuner, so I'm going to use that particular one. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, I'll save that. Now guide providers. I'm going to use schedules direct. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and put my name, username in there, and then I'll go ahead and fill that out. So. Uh, let me fill that out, then I'll be back with you. Okay, now I've got my tuner set up, I've got my Schedules Direct set up, and I'm just waiting for it to uh, fill in with the guide data. So we'll go into the settings, and I'm going to put 14 days, of, 14 days of guide data. So, uh, default recording path, I will set that up later, because one thing I have to do, uh, network, okay. I have to go in here and uh, mount my uh, drives, external drives, and in my particular case, I'm going to be using my NAS as uh, my storage device and where all my media is stored. So I'll have to go in there to Libre, I'll be going to Libre and uh, set up uh, using my computer using PuTTY. But anyway, I'll go into uh, Libre and set up my uh, uh, mount all my devices. So basically, that's everything there is to set up. Uh, and once you do that, you can add your media library. But again, I need to go in and mount mount the drives that I will be using. So. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching.